Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, we are working on a little side project here. I am uh, I'm working on another pretty damn cool project that I think a lot of you guys are going to like. But it requires calcium hydroxide, which I've pretty much run out of in trying to get this reaction to work. So I need to make some more. So today we're just going to be doing a quick double displacement reaction to make a bunch of calcium hydroxide. Super simple, doesn't get easier than this, and uh, hell, this, this could be a fun little project to, you know, get your kids into chemistry, get them understanding some basic double displacement reactions. A uh, bit of fun, although the, uh, we're dealing with some sodium hydroxide here, so that, that aspect of it is a little dangerous, nice and caustic. So what we're going to do is 60-40 uh, mass ratio of calcium chloride to sodium hydroxide. I'm going to double it up, get them both in solution, and then just do the quick double displacement right in here, let it settle out. Give it a couple washes, we'll have some pretty pure calcium hydroxide at that point. So, let's get to it. So we'll tear that. And we'll mess 120 grams of calcium chloride. Now for my source, obviously, I'm using Damprid, which is uh, just calcium chloride marketed as a desiccant. It's uh, pretty darn pure from the uh, SDS sheets I've looked at, so I'm not too worried about using it. And then we'll measure out 80 grams of sodium hydroxide. Now at these ratios, we will have a slight excess of calcium chloride. I'd rather have it that way than have a uh, any caustic leftovers. Get both of our salts into solution here. They're both quite soluble, so you can do this in pretty minimal amounts of water. Both of them will make your water heat up quite a bit, though. Calcium hydro or uh, calcium chloride, not so much, but the sodium hydroxide. This might get close to boiling, so I'm going to have to add it slowly. Just going to throw some gloves on. That way I don't turn my hands into soap. And safety goggles so I don't turn my eyes into soap. Yeah, hydroxide solution's already heating up pretty good. Getting quite hot. We're probably up above 60 C already. Oh wow, it's deforming my mat. It's so hot. <laughs> now you can see I'm using a tall form beaker here. That way it, it separates better and I'm able to decant off the uh, salt solution after we do the double displacement reaction. Any beaker will, will work, but just a, a tall form here is a little easier. Well, it's been a few minutes. My calcium chloride doesn't seem to want to clarify at all, so maybe there's some impurities of calcium carbonate in there that are kind of clouding up the solution. Not a big deal, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of done waiting. So we'll add the sodium hydroxide solution to it now, and you should see, should see, should see a white precipitate form. There we go. It's the devil's milkshake. <laughs> so just mixing it up to ensure that all the sodium hydroxide has been neutralized. At that point, we'll let it settle for a little while and we'll be able to decant off the sodium chloride solution that's formed. I'll uh, post the equation up there so you guys can actually see what the hell happened. All right, so all the sodium hydroxide's been added. I added a little more calcium chloride just to be sure everything was neutralized. And we got a nice, thick, evil milkshake. Do not drink this. So, pretty damn highly caustic stuff. Uh, calcium hydroxide has a pH of 12.2. And, uh, I mean, you can see we're kind of right in that bound. So at this point we will let it settle.
for a while, come back, decan it, give it a couple more washes, decan again, repeat. I just want to try to get as much of the sodium ions out of here as possible, even though it's... Once sodium is in, in a mixture, it's very, very difficult to get out. Um, sodium contamination is actually a big problem in the field of pyrotechnics, where you, you need relatively pure compounds to make your colors. So if any, for instance, like... Uh, well, as usual, nothing ever freaking goes to plan. So, we'll uh, set up... Uh, I was hoping this would settle over the course of an hour or two. It has not at all. So I'm just going to set up for filtration. Which, in itself, should be a lot of fun. This is going to take for freaking ever. But it should be hopefully a little faster than waiting for it to settle. Luckily you guys don't have to suffer through this whole freaking <laughs> slow as hell process. We will skip ahead to when it's done. Alright, so it's been a couple days actually. <laughs> Unfortunately we've been under a bit of a quarantine with this uh, crazy epidemic going on. But it's still quite freaking wet. So I'm going to have to force dry this stuff. I'll uh, put some aluminum foil in here, scoop it all out, and uh, dry it in the oven. We'll be good to go. Really a pain in the ass. If, uh, <laughs> if you're able to source calcium hydroxide locally, you know, uh, lime, something of that nature, I would recommend that instead. But unfortunately right now everything's closed, so I could not do that. All right. Just going to go about scooping this all in. Whew. Good news is I think we will have plenty to run the experiment I have in mind. Should be a good bit of fun. <laughs> Got hydroxide on my meter. Can't have none of that. Alright, just going to spread it out so it dries relatively evenly. Hopefully it won't react with the aluminum foil. I don't think it really should. Should have maybe thought that through a little bit. Hydroxide, aluminum foil. You know what? I definitely did not think that through. I think, uh, I think we could get a reaction. So I'm just going to go right into the glass here. And hopefully I'll be able to dissolve any remainder off with uh, hydrochloric acid. That way it doesn't ruin my glassware. So I didn't really think that through. Uh, I think the calcium hydroxide and aluminum could react, especially under elevated temperatures. Just so I don't risk that, I'm doing it directly in the glass dish. Which is probably going to make a huge mess of the dish. I'll have to clean it up with hydrochloric acid. Throw it in the oven. Good thing I didn't follow through with that brain fart. Listen. <laughs> Took a while, but it's definitely reacting. All right, guys, here we go. Fresh out of the oven. As Gordon Ramsay would say, you cook the fuck out of it. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it looks rather illegal. You know, bring a white powder out of your oven and whatnot. And it sticks to the glass like crazy, so you really got to scrape it off. Hopefully, it didn't transfer too many calcium ions to the glass and uh, ruin the borosilicate glass. I think it'll be fine. So from here, I'm just going to bottle it. It should work fine for our purposes. I might run it through a coffee mill, just in case I need fine powder for uh, any future experiments. But this will work fine for what I have in mind. You guys should probably be seeing that video pretty soon. And there we go. Calcium hydroxide. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the channel, please consider supporting it on Patreon. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, click that little dingleberry next to subscribe. That way you can get notified when I post. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Hey, I got that good good.
<laughs> you can maybe tell I've never done this before. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, too many beers.